Yeah, hi, hello, welcome to a uh, full stack development session. So in our previous session, uh, we have discussed about uh, what exactly uh, the full stack development is and what are the things associated with that full stack development that is especially the two divisions like uh, front end development and back end development. And also we have discussed extensively about uh, the technologies involved in front end development and as well as in the back end development. Apart from that, uh, we have also discussed about uh, you know, what are the different uh, projects we are going to implement uh, during our course. That is what we have discussed. And both uh, from the front end, uh, what are the things we discuss, uh, you know, what are the things uh, like projects we do, we have discussed like four projects we do in that. Uh, coming to the back end, uh, it could be any technology, Node or Java or Python and anything. And we do create uh, two projects, pure back end projects. And at the ending, uh, we create one complete, uh, you know, full stack application. We do create that. That's uh, that would be like your seventh project. So we have discussed extensively about all such information, and also we have discussed that the features of our program, right, which will be containing uh, more than 60 plus tasks, will be involved in this. Let's say example and interview preparation related things. So all the stuff we have discussed. And today uh, we are going to start our full stack development journey with front end development. So in this first we will be starting with the html once we are done with that then we will move to css after that we have a small uh, you know a library is there related to the css it's a uh, predefined library css library that is bootstrap we use that after that uh, we learn javascript as a programming language then we learn one uh, uh, you know uh, react js as a framework for that we do learn that so let's jump into the first section that is uh, html if we wanted to uh, learn this html and if you wanted to practice that html what are the basic requirement we should have so as a person you no need to have any uh, you know uh, prerequisites what it is like you know it's a person uh, uh, prerequisites uh, before starting of the html journey so absolutely uh, no or uh, uh, nothing is required to start the html journey and uh, coming to the system so in your computer what things or what software should be available uh, to start this journey of uh, HTML learning for that here also but here uh, minimum that is we should have one modern browser in your computer you should have one modern browser uh, it could be it could be anything like a Google Chrome or it can be a Mozilla Firefox or like Microsoft Edge it could be anything one modern browser should be there and one uh, text editor should be there here for writing the code for writing the html script we need one text editor and uh, uh, this could be actually uh, the, it can be a plain text editor like a notepad or uh, it can be an id id means uh, integrated development environment we talk about this later it's like a tool IDR tool, uh, it can be like Visual Studio Code and all. Uh, but we don't require at this moment that one. If you have any simple, uh, uh, yeah. if you have any uh, simple text editor in your computer uh, like Notepad, that is more than enough to start the journey. So, uh, if you wanted to start our uh, HTML journey and to create the pages, web pages. Why HTML is used? Generally, to add some content to our web pages, we use HTML. To do that, as a person, we don't require any special knowledge. Not required. But system prerequisites. Before we talk uh, about uh, you know 
learning of the HTML, practicing. Our system should have one browser. Minimum one browser should be there. And one text editor, like a plain text editor like Notepad, any tool, IDE, but we don't require that. Any plain text editor like Notepad, Notepad++ plus plus is enough. But Notepad anyhow will be there in any of the Windows systems, right? So it is enough. Even in the Mac system also, we have some other text editor. Fine. That's it. These are the system requirements, uh, you know, to start the journey of the HTML. So I hope uh, everyone uh, participating in this class uh, do have these two things, right? In your computer, have this, right? Browser is there in your computer, yes, and Notepad is there, fine. These are the basic things in any of the system it will be there. So now we are going to start our HTML. So generally the purpose of this uh, HTML is what? Uh, we use this for uh, you know, uh, creating the web pages. And what it will do in the web page is it will uh, it is used to adding uh, content to web page. The purpose of uh, HTML is to add the content to the page. And the full form of HTML here is uh, hypertext markup language. You can keep your videos. Once you are done with the session, you can practice. Yeah. So hypertext markup language. The full form of HTML is hypertext markup language. And already we discussed using this, we will be creating the web pages. And why we call this as markup language here? Because uh, HTML uh, uses tags for its development. So tags means you know this, right? Something like this. Uh, this is called tag. Okay, you can like later. I uh, will give time, no problem. First, try to concentrate. You people try first, try to concentrate. Okay. Yeah. So, this is called tag. Anything, if you write something like this open and close, this is called tag. So, any language uh, in the software uses these tags, any tags. Such languages are uh, known as markup languages. What do you call them? Markup languages. So, generally, Java. RC language will not be having the tags, that's why we don't call them as markup language. But HTML is having the tags, that's why we call them as markup language. HTML is called as markup language. So in HTML, uh, if you talk uh, something like this, it is like a, if you have anything, then this is called opening tag. What do you call it as? Opening tag. Or the other name for this uh, opening tag is something like start tag. We say opening tag or we say it as start tag. It's something like this, a slash and then tag name. See, normally you write, uh, do you know this, uh, what you call like, you know, that uh, bracket. Generally, these are like square brackets or rectangular brackets. These are flare brackets, flare braces, or people say curly braces. And these are called parentheses. We call them as parentheses. These are actually called angular braces. People call them as angular braces or angular brackets. But because they look like angle in your child, you know, right? In the mathematics, we have something angle A, angle B. So that's why people call angular braces. If you write anything inside the angular brace, something like this with name, then that is called an opening tag. If you write anything slash, then that is called a closing tag. This is a, a closing tag. The other name for the closing tag is like uh, end tag. And together, both, you know, this closing tag and end tag are open and close it. So these things together, we call it as a HTML element. So to, uh, here, uh, so head to open head means opening, close head. That is together is head element. So if you write P, that is P element. Anything opening and closing together, we call it as a HTML element. Fine? Yeah. We call it as a HTML element. And these elements only will be learning in the journey of the HTML. So we have uh, multiple contents, right? Means different, different content. Let's say example text. To add the text, uh, what elements are used to learn? Okay. And to add the images, what elements we use. To add the links in our web page, people say hyperlinks are links. 
what kind of you know uh, tax or elements are used next uh, to add the tables to our web page what tax are used so these things will be learning as part of our html journey not only that so many things see whatever the content we observe in any web page if you open a web page we see text uh, images uh, links uh, videos audios images so many things right? all the things we can able to add uh, you know with the help of the tags clear like that we will be learning so this is about you know uh, html so html is used for creating the web page and it is uh, adding the content to our web page and it's a full form is like you know apatex markup language it uses ab absolutely tax for its development and uh, any any language generally uses tax for its development uh, uh, such languages are uh, known as markup languages and html is uh, in that category called you know uh, markup language here fine now next uh, next part here is um, yeah so now uh, what else we learn here in this part uh, that is opening and uh, closing opening and closing uh, together we call it as what you know uh, html element and that element uh, using that element we can add different different contents fine not really so many things are there we will be learning later fine so this is about your html if you open any web page which is created through html or any website which is running right now will be following one special or i can say that blueprint it is a blueprint uh, so this is followed by every web page which is running in the world wide web so it is followed by every web page that is opening html and then closing html this is called root tag root tag r o o t root tag because it's a main tag in that only all other things will be there next we have one more tag in this the tag name is head tag or the tag name head tag then followed by we have a tag called the body tag so here we have opening tag and then closing tag like that but first we go with the opening and closing of html inside that two primary tags are there head tag and the body tag and this is called the uh, basic uh, template or blueprint for any website or web page any web page i can say for any web page to create or any web page already it is running will be following this blueprint so uh, and in this html is called a uh, root tag whereas both head and uh, you know body tags are called primary tags both are called what primary tags here html is a uh, root tag here because in every web page you will be having only uh, every web page starts from the html tag itself that's why we will call it as a root root tag or root whatever it is then uh, we do have two things here uh, both the head tag and the body right and these two are known as uh, primary tags and this is a basic template will be followed by any web page and what we write in this head tag is called metadata what we write metadata we will talk about metadata later next what we write in the body tag is all the visible content we write in this let's say example you have seen some website in that you have some content some text to some images where they have written is inside the body of that web page only they have written so in the body only they will write all the content so with our eyes whatever we see with respect to any web page that is actually added inside the body tag only in the body only we add all the things clear and that is called uh, you know body tag and in that we write all the visible content then what we write in the head tag is metadata metadata meaning is it is like information about the information metadata meaning is information about the information let's say example for this uh, if you are creating one web page web page content is not added in the head content is added in the body but what we will add here is what language your website is that information 
or what is the title of your web page such information this i can compare with the uh, your textbooks right in your child today our textbooks in that uh, so many chapters and all will be there but first starting of the page yeah that inside will be there but uh, first image will be there if you open that there will be something index kind of page will be there yeah actual content is there inside the book but there is simply some uh, heading something like that will be there tagline something that is called index so inside that what that information is telling that is telling about your book or not that index page is actually telling about your book means what is chapter which chapter is opening at which page, which page number all the information you can able to see in the index page itself that information is called metadata so that is information about the information means that uh, index page is telling about your book if you look at the index page you will come to know about the book to understand the book first you have to read the book but before reading only you will come to know okay these are the chapters okay this is eighth class physics book okay these are the chapters that you will come to know. that is what metadata is about such metadata we will be writing inside the head data clear so this is what about you know uh, any web page usually containing yeah. as i told you this is a basic template or blueprint containing or uh, you know used by any web page right now we are going to see that i will show you practically also so i'll be opening some site now and for that site it will be having the web pages right there i will show you what they have used tags understood uh, that is uh, here okay i just open one browser now uh, here uh, what i am typing is something uh, amazon okay I'm just typing amazon you are able to see something right here uh, some sponsor link okay fine this is a site amazon dot in official site i am just clicking it fine okay i zoomed it that's why it is looking like that but actually original size is this fine now you forget about what uh, i am clicking but uh, i will just to show you the code now if you guys able to see you forget about this this is the default thing actually doc type html if you write or if you don't write still browser will understand it is a web page only generally in the olden days uh, like you know you have different different kind of uh, you know this statement will be there just by looking at that browser will come to know like okay this is html page but nowadays it's not uh, uh, you know compulsory to mention that like simply if you write html it understands like it's a web page this content or this code is about this page you are able to see this page right whatever the code this is related to that page now. okay uh, what the first tag you are able to see here html open html and it is closed here. close means okay this, uh, this is like a html tag inside that whatever you mention class that you leave we'll ta talk about that later because we are starting right but it is html uh, immediately after what is open head tag i already told you you people can compare this that uh, any web page will be following uh, this particular uh, basic template i told you right yes, sir no html after that head tag after that uh, body tag and at the end we close the body tag then we close the html tag now it is following the same or not html and after that what is there head right yeah. now i will show you head okay inside there some links some extra extra uh, some extra information was there fine it's not a big deal now see here you are able to see head tag is closed after that whatever they have written is this is comments means this will not execute they are like comments that not the code see that color is green able to see green color right so meaning is it is not getting executed uh, immediately after that what is started body so after uh, closing of the head what started body so that is what uh, yeah we mentioned no so here head after that what will be there yeah content but what tag is there opening of body no body after that the closing of body you understood html then head open closed inside that you write something leave it 
next body opened body closed so that is what i am telling body head closed and immediately body opened here clear now go there here you will be having so much of content in this right go to the ending see what is there here closing of body and then immediately closing of next now you understood so i told you that any web page you know which we generally create or which is already existing uh, will be following this particular uh, you know template call this one open html close html inside that open head close it inside that open body close body you forget what is there inside the data but it will be following this structure for that i have just shown you the example with the what uh, amazon site but it's a huge site right big site I mean, site containing so many information so much of information so many things are there that's why see the number of lines of code see how many lines some 2079 see the last line line number Two zero uh, means around means more than two thousand lines of code is there. Clear. And but for your website which you are going to develop for practice and all, you may not have that much because it's a huge commercial site, right? It may be involved with so many things. Fine. Now we see some uh, what we say some other things now. Just. Uh, Other website, other things. So Wikipedia website I want to open. Okay, Wikipedia India. This is one site. Amazon is one site. This is another site. And for this also I want to see the, you know, structure how they created. Fine. That HTML page structure I want to see here also. First what is open? First tag is HTML only. Inside that you leave what there, right? But first tag is what HTML only. After that, uh, edit tag only, right? Just a minute, it got stuck. Yeah, right. So edit tag is open, right? And after some time, definitely that uh, see edit tag is closed. And after that, immediately body tag is open. Got it? Edit tag closed, and immediately body tag is getting open. Now inside the body, you'll be having lot of content, but the ending observe last lines. Body tag closed and immediately HTML is closed. But see this time, how many lines of code? 3000. Here it is around 2000, nearly 2000 something, uh, something more than the 2000. Here 3500, means nearly 3600 or whatever. So the content inside this page, like all the see, links, so many things are there because you know Wikipedia, right? In that, so many, so much of information is there. Wikipedia purpose itself is for information. Why we use HDR, uh, Amazon, man? Amazon we use for shopping, right? But Wikipedia people use for uh, searching the information only. I mean, that much information will be there. In that. Clear? See, everything is information. Got it? And you want some other information, you can click this. Then that will open. If you want something, if you click this, then something else will open. See, if I click this, then that will open other information again. Content only. Got it? So, okay, whatever it is, but our intention is different. So, that what is our uh, discussion here? That whenever we, uh, you know, talk about any web page, uh, that would be following the basic template or blueprint of this one. HTML as a root tag. Inside that, we have two primary tags head tag and body tag. Means, whatever the web page we create, in that, we have to follow this. The structure we have to follow or if any any web page already existed that also will follow the same structure fine so this is what about you know the basic template of a web page and that so clear right you guys clear till now right yeah we come you also clear right till now or all online people What is not visible? Uh, it's visible, right? Yes. 
yeah yeah so you you clear right up to this point uh, because now we are going to see one important aspect that uh, how to create our first web page that is what we are going to learn now so shall we move to that so to create any web page what we have to do is actually you can create a web page uh, but uh, what i recommend is in your computer you create some folders for this learning assume you joined here for uh, full stack learning you create one folder called full stack in that you create two folders like front end and back end in the front end folder you create one folder like html learning or html inside that you save all the html related stuff clear got it or not now let's say example um, okay first i will tell you the steps if you wanted to uh, create a first web page here so or uh, the agenda is to create a first web page create our first web page okay to do that the first step we have to do is uh, open our text editor or some simply open a notepad okay if you simply opening on new new notepad or whatever notepad will be opening and after that what we do over there is uh, after opening that then write for that the basic template whatever the template we learned right just now open html close html all the template we need to write and some code some information we need to write once you are done with that then save the file you have to save the file you can save the file with any name but a dot html should be there as extension if you want to put your file name as abc okay but abc dot html if your file name file name is hello then it's like hello dot html so file name is of your choice you can make anything but extension is html dot html you have to keep fine that's it very simple to create a first web page so what are the steps here to create a first web page we need to simply open one new notepad new file just open there and start writing that basic template starting from that html tag then inside that you put uh, body tag and uh, you know head tag inside the body just to put some text content hi hello you write whatever it is there fine then after few days we will be learning all the content like uh, images links uh, audios videos so all the things you will learn uh, right in the body tag but at this moment you don't know right then still no problem simply directly open body close body right inside that you write something like hi hello just like that you write anything then that is fine after that save the file with the name can be anything but uh, your uh, extension so that uh, extension should be extension should be should be dot html file can be anything but the extension should be dot html clear whatever i told now uh, the concept this one steps are now we are going to implement practically clear but before you do this i already told you uh, in your computer not in the c drive don't do generally in the c drive it's okay fine but uh, if you have other drives like d drive e drive whatever it is there first you create the folder structure full stack uh, folder in that two folders separately uh, front end and back end in the front end you create a folder like html css javascript but first to create html inside that you save all these things whatever the html stuff journey we do right now all those files you save in the html folder clear now what the first step we have to do we have to take the notepad so we have to take the notepad first uh, take one new notepad okay i have taken uh, what is the next step what we have to do 
we have to write the basic template what the template we have to follow for any web page to be created we have to open html and then close html fine then uh, write the two tags head tag and uh, one more tag is body tag close head then open the body tag and then close the body tag so we have to open and close so this is open body and then close body inside the body generally you can hit enter no problem it need not be in the same way you can hit enter and you write whatever uh, you know uh, content you want you can able to write here so here i am just writing uh, dear students uh, welcome to full stack just that's only one line i want to write dear students welcome to full stack so first step is finished two steps are finished open a new fresh notepad then write the basic template in that now what we have to do we need to save the file we have to save the file just go there to save the file we can go to file option and then we can go option like save how to save go to file then click save or directly we have option like control s control s also saves or you can go for file then you can click okay fine control s whatever it is now i already told you uh, you people have to store that in the proper location i already created something full stack folder inside that front end separate folder back end separate and inside the front end i already have html folder i already have the structure for some other batch i am just storing at this moment but in your computer you have to create the proper structure this is uh, if you don't create a proper structure also still it will be saved but the problem is zigzag it will be somewhere else now as already we are in the proper location okay we no need to worry about it now here write any name write any name so here i am writing basic it's like that i am writing name can be anything but extension should be dot html and one more very very important thing the moment you write basic dot html immediately we have to write save as type to all files understood file name you write any name dot html these are the steps we have to remember that way only write any file name then dot html nothing is there in that uh, to complexity is not there no simple just write one file name then default always it will show text to document but you have to write it all files clear you have to click it all files if i don't do this what happens is it will create basic dot html dot txt file will be created means one normal text file will be created web page will not be created understood the text file name will be basic dot html it is not a web page it will create a text file you know the difference right text file is normal text web page means web page so that's the reason we have to keep it always all files now save now i saved it now i want to see the output now in my browser i want to see the output because what is our goal we have to create a first web page to do that only we discussed all these things right uh, what is the first thing open notepad new notepad fresh then write the basic template which we discussed so far just uh, open html close html head close it body close body in the body write some text actually in the future we write so many uh, other tags other data so much of data we write in the body but at this moment fine just write normal text hi hello how are you whatever it is then save the file with extension dot html save it in the proper location i already saved and uh, the location is something i already told you know html i already have it for other purpose but we don't need to worry what is the name of the file name that is important basic and see just now 269th 1142 it's been created important thing is this is called a text file b c s s topic these are called text files see what is the icon text icon something but see this is icon chrome icon what is that icon chrome and what is the type of the file it is telling it is chrome html document what is the type it is chrome html document in my computer at this moment google chrome is the default browser that's why the icon is chrome in your computer if this one microsoft edge is the default browser then this blue color edge is there no that symbol will be there 
in others computer if uh, firefox is the default browser for them it will show that one. clear clear uh, now we have to see the output to see the output uh, just uh, uh, select that uh, particular you know page yeah now i selected you are able to see right something is highlighted there this is called selecting something something focus is there no on that able to see something uh, now uh, i selected the basic now after selecting right click go for right click option then go with an option called open so how to see the output just to select the file then go with the right click then go with open with option then here you will be having list of browsers in my computer right now i have only two browsers microsoft edge and google chrome clear in your computer if you have two three three four then it will show all the browsers now you can click any of the browser in that browser the web page will open now i click google chrome able to see yes my web page is open the thing is i'm just increasing zooming it see in my web page what content i mentioned no images no videos no links nothing only some plain text i mentioned came or not our web page wide open in the browser only our web page is open so this is what about how to create a first web page this page is serving from the local computer like you know local machine file like c users or something like that it is coming from this location in the future if you create this website in a beautiful way for one purpose like blog or some article anything you create there only no text will be right not only text will be there right images everything will be right. after that your name is sai right you purchase one domain called sai.com you understood understood what i am talking sai.com you have to purchase the domain from the online internet domain sai.com then purchase it pay some money and purchase it then whatever the code you have written so far put that code in the sai.com so that whoever opens sai.com from the world in the internet whoever opens around the world can able to see your web page that's it so creation of web page and hosting is that much simple clear the only thing is we have to learn how to write the code and how to add the content once everything is ready then making it website or making it visible to all the people is not a big deal now you understood writing the code creating the web pages creating the website is big thing if your website is ready it may be right now opening in your computer but you want it to be visible to all the people around the world first then purchase a domain that is called domain dot com dot in dot net will be there no so there will be domain name providers are there in the internet there you can purchase you guys understood whatever i am telling you guys can purchase and whatever the code you have written you keep people can take that code and put or push in that uh, domain name so that anyone in the world can able to see your website or web page that is what usually all people will do facebook people you know facebook.com but first what they will do in their company they have the software engineers all those people will create one big site called facebook related all the things they will create then they will purchase a domain called facebook.com in that they will put the code so that you are able to see the facebook.com understood now got it or not uh, so there are in the internet there are so many domain uh, providers are there i told to purchase right yes sir no uh, in the industry we have so many domain uh, providers are there where to purchase you should know right that is what i am telling so many people are there among them godaddy is one yeah so they will provide domain names not products i told sai.com right you have to purchase sai.com i told right which you cannot buy in the outside market you have to buy through uh, some domain name providers clear those i am telling like godaddy is one among them what i am telling domain providers uh, you people are able to see this image now all able to 
see that image here here uh, go daddy blue host something shopify whatever it is like that we have domain name providers actually this one go daddy domain.com buy domains so host getter name cheap like that we have different different domain providers are there clear Let's see among them i am just going with something like a go daddy okay i don't know whether you are able to, you are able to see right what it is telling 499 rupees for 499 rupees for dot com domain like that it is there so you can go there and you can search the domain name means whether that is really existed or not you can able to uh, check it now what i want something sai are you following what i am talking so why i am checking because there may be so many people already in the world some someone already taken able to see what is there ah but what is there your domain already taken now you understood then he already has that if you want he did not have any site on that but he already taken the domain but he has not hosting any site in that now he is selling it for see that 5000 something whatever now you understood got it or not clear he is giving one more suggestion sai.com already taken you can go with another alternative like saibuy.com saibuy.com with how many rupees with 499 rupees for first year you can get it. clear it is also giving other suggestions here so what i am telling is first you should learn the technologies and then you can create a beautiful websites or web pages together once everything is done then making it available to the public is not a big deal i am telling clear whatever the code you write simply push that code into that domain so that it is visible to all the people around the world so the problem is not to push problem is to create clear pushing will not take more than 5 minutes or 10 minutes you have to purchase if you purchase the domain you know gmail account yes. you know gmail account right you log in gmail in the same way for domain also they will be giving you an account in that you will be registering then you will be log in then they will be asking you to uh, push the code you will be pushing the code so that that will be available to the people around the world clear so that is what uh, so that is what about yeah. so that is what about you know web page development and website development and then hosting it clear so we really no need to worry about that uh, hosting and all clear so so this is what means but what i am telling is in the real time what will happen i want you to have that uh, idea that's why i am telling this clear once it is create uh, created then people will move into that uh, domain name clear people will host it there so as part of our today's uh, class what we learned i will just uh, you know recap i will try to recap uh, so in our complete full stack development journey we start our journey from the front end development in that first we will learn about html after that the css bootstrap javascript react yeah. to learn or to start the html learning what are the prerequisites a person should have so absolutely nothing if the person is not having any knowledge uh, coding any no prior knowledge absolutely fine no need to have any knowledge directly you can start then system prerequisites if you want to practice html or if you want to work with html what your system should have minimum so minimum your system should have one modern browser should be there in the system any browser chrome or edge or firefox one plain text editor should be there any text editor it can be a plain normal editor or any tool but right now tool is not required any editor like notepad plus plus or notepad anything is fine edit plus r but notepad is enough in your computer it is there every windows computer it will be there when we are talking about the html html the purpose is to create a web page and using the html we can add content to our web page html stands for hypertext markup language and it uses tags for its development inside html always we have tags any language which uses tags such languages are known as markup languages then see in html whatever we have something like this then it is called opening tag 
if you have anything slash something then that is called see this is angular brace inside the angular brace if you write any name that is opening tag or start tag inside the angular brace if you write slash something then that is called closing tag together opening and closing tag together we call it as a html element when you are talking about the html element using those html element only we add different different content to our page means if you want to add text we use some some tags some elements if you want to add a image we use some other element if you want to add a link we use one element like that every content we have different different elements or tags next if you think about any web page that will be following definitely this particular you know structure or like basic template it will be following that's the reason i mentioned the word like you know blueprint whatever the web page you create that should have this or whatever the web page is already running in this world world wide web www there it is running right web pages in the web whatever it is running they should follow this structure the structure is like in this html is a main tag root tag inside that we have two tags they are two primary tags head and a body tag inside the head tag what we mention is metadata metadata is nothing but some extra info, ex information about your information so inside that no content is there that will tell you what language your website is what is the title of your website is that extra information it will be giving this is like example i told you know for your textbook index page index page is like a metadata what we see in the index page the complete book what it is book is containing what chapters what uh, you know a chapter number what chapter name everything will be there in the index only but not the actual content actual content is there inside the chapters but it will give you just some information about that book that is what metadata is about and we keep the metadata in the head tag next comes your body tag next is what body tag so when we are talking about the body tag here we write all the visible content in the body tag we write all the visible content in the body tag clear when you are talking about the visible content it can be anything whatever we see with our eyes is the visible content images whatever you see in any web page or website actually they are added in the body that's it now this is the basic template i already told you like followed by all the websites already or if you write your website also it should follow see body closed html closed ending right starting what will be there you know somewhere body will be opened and before body open there will be head tag should be closed so that is what the structure it will be uh, you know following right so it is it, it has got stuck but it, it's there somewhere uh, yeah you are able to see html and then immediately head is closed so here what happened it is it is closed here and then immediately body is started open right so that is what the basic template followed by any web page means if we want to create our web page also that should be following the same so for that reason if you want to create a web page this is the target to reach this we have to open the new notepad fresh notepad then immediately write that basic template which we have discussed so far this is the template we have to write content you leave guys you write anything in the body section you write any normal content later in the future you write a different different uh, content like images links but at this moment some dummy text just like some text you write so open the new notepad and then write the basic template and in that put, put some content in the body then save the file with the extension called html your file name could be anything hi html hello html sci.html abc html you write anything but extension should be dot html and immediately the moment you are saving you have to put all files default is text file we have to make it all files but all this journey whenever you are saving ensure in your computer in the d drive or in the e drive wherever you have space there you create proper folder structure like first you create full stack folder inside the full stack folder you create two folders so like you know front end one folder and then back end one folder and inside the front end folder you create a 
folders like HTML separate folder, CSS separate folder, JavaScript separate folder. But at this moment, we don't have all these things. We will learn about HTML only. Now open the HTML folder. Inside that, you write all these pages. Clear means that proper structure we have to maintain so that in your future, like after 10 days, after 30 days, whenever you want to see all web pages related, HTML related content, you don't need to go to uh, like a uh, documents page uh, somewhere on the desktop or somewhere on that folder. No need to uh, move around directly. Everything will be stored in a proper location. Okay. That's it. So in this way, we'll be creating how to see the output uh, wherever you create, go there, whatever the name you created, just to check that basic, right? Just to go there, right click on that, then go with the open with option. You can click on the any of the browser or directly also you can open directly double click also it will open but if you click double click then what happens is it will open only in the chrome because my default browser is chrome in your computer if you double click it is if it is a edge then it will open in the edge no i want to open in my own uh, you know uh, browser means my uh, browser of my own wish then go with open with and here you can choose any clear so this is what about you know uh, creating the first web page and the structure of web page and then later creating the first web page so i hope uh, you guys have got the uh, you know uh, clarity right how to create the first web page what are the clarity right and if you are still having any doubt regarding that you can let me know and all the people who attended uh, you know online uh, to guys yeah uh, if you are uh, having any doubt, just unmute yourself and you can ask your doubts. Or in the chat box also, you can ask your questions. I will be happy to answer you guys. Don't keep any questions with you itself. Every question is a valid question. You can ask questions. Vikram. Yeah, Kirtana, you have any doubt? If you have any doubt, just you can unmute yourself, you can ask me. Or even in the chat box, you can shoot out your questions. Else, if you uh, understood whatever happened in the class, just uh, let me know like you are clear. Kirtan able to hear me. If you have any doubt, just let me know. Else, if you are clear, whatever it's been told, uh, then just give me the confirmation like you are clear. There is a chat box. You can open chat box in that you can mention. Kirtan able to hear me? Hello? Hello, Kirtana. Yeah, you have any doubts? Nothing, sir. No more doubts. Okay, you are clear, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So in my previous session, I just told about, you know, uh, what is uh, full stack development? What is front end development? What is back end development? I told uh, you, you can just go through that video. Okay. You'll be getting the idea. Fine. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, and from today onwards, you can directly continue. Already you are in today's session, right? So you can directly continue from tomorrow. The only thing completed before this is that one. I just gave some uh, demonstration that uh, 
what is full stack development why we have to learn full stack development what is the front end development what is the back end development so how many projects we do and all such stuff i discussed in the previous sessions you can go through those okay they will be providing you the video you can go through it and still if you are having any doubt you can let me know no problem anyhow you are today you are in the class right so from tomorrow onwards you try to attend regularly at the same time 11 am is that clear kirtana okay Uh, have you given your your details to uh, these people uh, admin people okay you have given your details uh, to us your training admin people they have your details given sir given okay then uh, so try to attend from uh, tomorrow regularly yeah okay guys then uh, that's it uh, for the day in a uh, next session tomorrow session uh, we'll again you know start uh, from the other topics of the html clear today we learned how to create first web page slowly we will learn how to add other different different content or web page okay guys thank you we'll meet uh, in a uh, next session bye guys take care